Josh Garrett here. I want to talk to you about music books. So, um, as you can see here, I have quite a few, and that's just part of it. And uh, that does not necessarily mean that you are going to be a music genius just because you have a bunch of books. Um, I think what brings you to the point where you're going to be a great musician, uh, composer, if you wanted to get there, um, you know, a real expert uh, at music, or, or just, you know, just really have something substantial um, to create, to make, um, you need to know the basics. And uh, so what I want to uh, touch on is just uh, music theory books. I think they're very important. I think they're the... Uh, I think they're more important than, uh, obviously more important than like some hot licks book or uh, pro licks, you know, by some metal guy or something like that. Listen, all those guys, they all get what they know from theory, basic music theory. You know, all the styles of music from metal, uh, jazz, uh, all this stuff, it's based on um, the same principles of music making. Um, so here's one example. I don't want to be rambling. I want to make this short. Uh, Benjamin Horvath Nelson. This is an old book from the late 90s, but it's good. Um, I'm sure there's updates. I haven't checked, but get your hands on a good music book. Check out Amazon. Look for a new uh, good reviews. Check out the reviews. Uh, make a, a decision, but get a music theory book. Unless you're already in college and you're already uh, been there, done that. Um, so, tonal music, techniques and materials, with an introduction to 20th century techniques, get it well-rounded uh, um, scope there. But it's important to know the basics, and uh, without that, all this stuff is going to be like learning. All, it's going to be like a mystery. Oh, it's so mysterious. Oh, what did you know? What did he just play? Or, the more you know the basics, and the more you do your, uh, you know, your dictation, your sight reading practice. And your oral training, oral, you know, uh, listening to what's being uh, played and know and, and be able to know what's being played, it's going to be less of a mystery. Um, so that's good. And uh, so here's one, another book, uh, Sight Singing, Music for Sight Singing. It's another Benjamin Horvath Nelson book. Um, there's plenty of things, but find a good publisher. Benjamin Horvath Nelson's pretty decent. Um, been around a long time. Uh, you're gonna, you might find something else. You're going to find other books. Get one that has a lot of good reviews. One that's recommended, and maybe even check out uh, college websites, uh, music schools. Uh, you know, check out, see what their um, their uh, book lists are for their courses. I think that's an excellent place to start. Uh, forget Amazon. Yeah, go on those university sites. But uh, Amazon does do have some. Uh, some good products the reviews a lot of you know there's some good reviews on some of these things that you can use in your process of discovery okay moving on the source of scales and melodic patterns by nicholas slanimsky pretty good a lot of different lines different kinds of chromatic lines nine dot non-diatonic it's not fixed to any kind of key uh, it's very much in, akin to uh, uh arnold schoenberg's uh 12 tone serialism um, they'll have all these different things like interpolations, you know, inversions, you know, mirroring uh, intervals, uh, playing lines backwards, so on, you know, all these different variants of things, and a lot of jazzers like this book. Uh, so, Thesaurus of Scales and Melodic Patterns, Nicholas Slonimsky, check that out uh, to learn something like uh, different kinds of lines. Okay, the Guitar Grimoire is different. Not everyone uh, thinks this is a great resource. I think it's decent if you want to learn a bunch of uh, if you're like a metal guy or something and you like to play a lot of sweep picking patterns Because this is this check it out. It's just a book of patterns You know, that's pretty much what it is It looked like you know, it's just like There's no notation in here. So it, lay, it lays out the modes. It can be really confusing so it's good to um, maybe look up what you're looking at like Ionian augmented that's essentially a major scale with just an augmented fifth likely in this uh, example here. In this, so don't let these things uh, whack you out. You know, don't get uh, don't get bugged. Don't be confused by this. This is just uh, 
it's all again all based on uh, diet, regular you know music theory stuff. Uh, this is just patterns, and that can help you learn your fretboard a little bit too, um, but not the essential. It's not the essential resource. Okay, Renaissance guitar. If you're into uh, this, is part of the Frederick Node uh, series, Frederick Node and uh, guitar anthology. Okay. Uh, the Renaissance Guitar, very good book, um, basic pieces, but, you know, it doesn't mean it's boring music. Uh, just because it's not technically all over the place uh, doesn't, mean it's, it doesn't mean it's boring. I mean, to, to be honest, um, a, lot of techni a lot of highly, highly technical music that involves a lot of uh, crazy fast playing is very... Uh, some people hate it, you know, and some people... <clears throat> I hate's a strong word, but some people really don't like listening to that stuff, and uh, it has its place. I think there has to be pieces have to be well balanced, and uh, certainly there is some complicated music written in the Renaissance period. This book, though, is good for intermediates, even into the advanced. It's good uh, instruction. Um, I recommend it, and also the Baroque guitar book by Frederick Node. Um, that's good. They also have a classical guitar book. It says they have different recommendations. Uh, recommendations is the Classical one is the Romantic Guitar book, and that's going to be a little more, um, I don't know, not my bag, but I like the early music stuff, so I recommend those highly if you want to learn the classical pieces, uh, so to speak, classical, uh, you know, early music. <coughs> okay, well, I'll get to this later. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, Pumping Nylon by Scott Tennant. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, good for learning classical guitar for the first time. There's a DVD included in this, highly uh, beneficial. Um, it gives you uh, some arpeggio studies, t teaches you about, um, well, it has Giuliani. Uh, am I saying that Giuliani is uh, 120 right hand studies, which is important. Your piccato, you know, alternating left and right. Um, I mean, alternating index middle when you're picking. Uh, Okay, so, and then there's some other compositions and other examples by Bach, Rodrigo, uh, Tarina. Um, there's some tab, but tab is for cheaters. But no, actually, this doesn't have, no, this has finger tab, this tells you, which is actually very, very good. So, yeah, I recommend it. And uh, there you have it Pumping Nylon by Scott Tennant. And let's see, if you want to get into the jazzy stuff here. Um, teach fingerstyle jazz guitar teaching your guitar to walk so this is doing alternate bass lines that's very beneficial I think uh, if you want to learn to do that I think it's it is pretty bare bones it's kind of like okay what's the next thing is this all I'm gonna do because all I do is like block chord boom and I, I on, it's like hitting the one and three beats um, or just hitting the you know the it's just it's it's pretty uh it's crude in some ways, but it's very excellent in uh, teaching, uh, you know, younger, young jazzers, uh, young and old, um, beginning jazzers to uh, do alternating bass lines while they play chords. They're mimicking a bass line, jazz bass line, while they're uh, playing through something. That's, you know, that's could be really up, right up your alley if you're into that stuff. Okay, so... Um, Miles Davis for solo guitar by Jimmy Finlay. This is a little different. Hal Leonard. Uh, this isn't. Uh, this is. A, this is a repertoire. This isn't really an instructional book. Um, there's some beneficial beneficial stuff. Some people think it, it can maybe be a little convoluted in some of the phrasing. Uh, it's like, well, why do I have to? Why is this even notated like that with certain kind of you know um, inflections rhythmically? Um, you know, I think his Christmas book isn't that good. I think it's, but it's more for accompanying voice. Because all he plays is block chords in the Christmas book. But this is good. It has uh, different uh, Miles Davis. If you like Miles Davis, check it out because uh, it has some uh, some niceties in it. Um, well, I'll just get to these since I'm on jazz. Jazz Rock Solos book. Very cool book. Um, this has a lot of beneficial single line stuff. If you're really into like, and he has like some fusion lines. It has stuff by Larry Carlton, Robin Ford, Pat Metheny. Uh, the John Schofield lines uh, are, are, you know, that's that's can be cool. But the Larry Carlton lines are actually nice. Um, I'm not a big fan of some of the some jazz stuff. 
I, I really like jazz a lot. I, I, I do, but um, I mean, it's I'm always playing jazzy stuff. Anyway, uh, this is a very good book, Hal Leonard. Um, but you know, here's the thing: you can take it and mold it and make it whatever you know, part of your own music. Um, anyway, I recommend. I'm talking too much. Okay, a jazz guitar, bebop, and beyond. This is very, very helpful book. Uh, teaches you a different certain scales, you know, altered scales like a altered dominant, um, some Lydian augmented, uh, very um, nice chord voicings in here, and they have you. And there's CD uh, CD with it, and it gives you examples. This is by uh, Doug Monroe, and it's uh, Bellwin's 21st Century Guitar Library. Um, very, uh, I do recommend this, and it has a spiral binding, which is very beneficial. Very helpful and uh, yeah so I would recommend that for sure and so oh man I want to make time uh, counterpoint books you know this is what Bach used when he was learning the study of counterpoint by Johann Joseph Fuchs or Johann Joseph Fuchs and uh, by Alfred you know translated and edited by Alfred Mann that's good this is a polyphonic vocal style of the 16th century it's a counterpoint book um, by uh, Nud Jepsen. And uh, this is uh, could be nice as well. You know, if you want to get into that, then there you go. Um, I think that the they both have uh, something to offer. Um, but again, this is a music theory book. You know, you don't have to, you know, there's no reinventing of the wheel here. Um, just go with the that start with the bare bones basics, get a music theory book. That's that's it. Just get a music theory book, look at it, and if you know to understand the bare bones, and when you know that, and you have a certain style you want to play, really, you know, think about it. You know, what do you want to learn? Because you have to put hours into it. You have to put hours into playing. It's no joke. Um, if you want to get good, you have to put in the time. Uh, but it is good to learn different styles makes you more, more um, desirable if uh, um, you know depending what kind of you know gigs you're into uh, getting so this book is cool and here when I first started playing guitar my first guitar lessons with it was with a bluegrass guy who taught me banjo rolls and he um, you know and for guitarists um, you know that's just um, a, a great um, thing to do uh, to learn how to play a good finger picking uh, technique to have good finger picking technique not just classical style but to play like the banjo rolls too if you can mix that with classical and maybe learn also some jazz stuff with that man that is a that is a the trifecta if you will of uh, being a, a well-rounded guitar player I really believe that learning um, blue, learning the the folk the very, very it's like a applied theory in like folk music Learning the bare basics and getting into the, 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 the finger style in. And, uh, and, and if you want to do the classical route, that's very good I, uh, too. But you can still learn classical techniques on a steel string guitar if you want to play folk music without using a classical guitar. Um, and here's the thing, classical guitar, a nylon string guitar, you can play any kind of music on. You can play country, you can play jazz, you can play metal, kind of. You know, it's, it's, not, I, uh, it's not amplified, you know, it's not distorted. It's, here's the thing, it, again, it's all built on um, music theory and stuff. It's all, you know, all these different styles are based on the same principles. But anyway, back to this, The Art of Solo Finger Picking by Mark Hansen. Very beneficial book. Um, this is something that uh, this reinforced what I already was taught when I was a little kid. Um, man, I, I'm just blessed to be able to learn finger style guitar. It's, inf it's, all, it's like all I do when I'm accompanying people. I mean, there's a time where I was playing so much uh, finger style that I was getting a little stumped with some of my strumming because I just wasn't strumming enough. I was playing so much uh, finger style. Um, but not that I have a problem with strumming guitar. But, it, you know, I think if you can really master finger style and like the banjo roll type of stuff, you know, um, or, you know, yeah, I mean, basically banjo rolls. I mean, what's the, what are the other names for that? Um, yeah, it's pretty much banjo rolls. Um, yeah, this is such a great thing. 
Uh, but I highly recommend this book. Um, um, anyone who wants to learn it, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm got to get this done. Um, did I say the uh, Andre Segovia's 20 Studies for the Guitar? This is Fernando Sor's material that Andre Segovia put together. Fernando Sor, he uh, Spanish, uh, he was a fiuelist, he played viola, but he also um, did this. Okay, I got to make time. So uh, good stuff if you want to study classical. Um, go to different techniques, uh, good playing through arpeggios, good right hand, left hand development. Okay. So, not my bag, but hey, if you're into a classical, that's a, probably a book that your instructor at school, at college or something is going to recommend. Um, I was recommended the Frederick Node when I was going to start classical uh, in school. Um, so, the Frederick Node anthology, those are very practical uh, as well. Okay, Alternate Tunings, Guitar Essentials by Acoustic Guitar Magazine. If you're into alternate tunings and doing the dead gad thing and other things, Open C and Alex Degrassi, go for it. Um, Acoustic Guitar Magazine, uh, Alternate Tunings Guitar Collection. Okay, hey, options. This is early 90s stuff, so you have an early 90s tunes, okay? Keep that in mind. Um, but the real good stuff would be timeless, like Alex Degrassi. Okay, Through Chord Melody and Beyond, very cool book by... Good book by uh, Howard Morgan by Alfred Publishing and uh, has a CD. I memorized much of this stuff into I was ready to go gigging, uh, but I had a setback with my uh, my tendon and uh, nerve, ulnar nerve in my right arm, so I can't play that stuff like I used to. Um, but it's okay, you know, uh, God has me where he has me. Anyway, this is a good book and uh, I do recommend it. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty fun. <coughs> It's not like mind blowing complicated, but it's 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 cool stuff. Okay, country solos for guitar. If you're in a country, that this is all right. This is they have some good licks in here. It has a CD included. This is by Hal Leonard. Country solos for guitar. Okay, moving along. Um, classic country. This is also Hal Leonard. This is easy guitar. This is easy guitar right here. Okay, dokie. And this has stuff. Folsom Prison Blues. Yeah, Johnny Cash. Um, you know, um, don't your your babies grow up to be cowboys, y'all? Hal Leonard, that works. A very very straightforward lyrics, single you know, single melody with chord above it. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, uh, um, I do recommend David Bloom. He's a he was a, he's a jazz instructor in Chicago. He's written some books. This is going to be not as popular as the other recommendations, but uh, I do suggest if you're into jazz voicings and stuff that you pick up David Bloom's. Uh, uh, you know, minor blues books, the one, uh, one, two, five, um, progression stuff. Look that up and, uh, get yourself a copy. There's minor and major. The uh, minor looks like this. It's different. So, uh, it has the, you know, the block diagram with notation. So I do recommend that. And, uh, let's see what else, what else? Uh, yeah, get the Andrew Segovia slur exercises and chromatic octaves for, uh, warm-ups before you play very good and uh, he also has the diatonic major and um, minor um, stuff which has melodic my melodic minor uh, scales up and down the fretboard uh, very good to learn that so that I guess that's it um, I will comment more on things as uh, they come to mind but remember that to um, you know uh, do some self-examination. What do you What do you want to do with yourself? Do you want to play? You know. You know. You just want to have fun at home. Then, uh, you know, be practical. Why do I get it? Why am I going to spend all these hours on this for? Uh, if you want to be a well-rounded musician and be have something you can offer others, then um, you know, cover these other styles and but really get down to music theory. Practice your scales. Go through um, uh, ear training and. Uh, Dictation, visual, and uh, just keep practicing, but keep playing and playing with others. Uh, it's very beneficial. Uh, so, God bless you. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.